Hey guys, Subsekid here, and this tutorial is just a carry on tutorial kind of from the tutorial I uploaded yesterday, which was the 3D motion tracking and After Effects tutorial. And I'm just going to show you how to put that text behind this fool because it looks like it's just like, are you just stupid? It just like looks so stupid in front of the wall when it's like that. So you can see it's motion track there. Just watch the tutorial. If you haven't watched that, I'll just post an annotation right now, and just click on that to watch the motion tracking tutorial. All it all done within After Effects with the camera tracker plugin. Okay, so now time for this tutorial and how to mask out the wall so it looks like it, so the text look like it's behind the wall. There. Okay, so click on your cinematic, and then hit Control D so it duplicates it. <coughs> like that and then just drag one of them to the top and then you won't be able to see it like that so what you want to do is you just want to hide it so you can see it and if you just go along until it, it until you see the wall which it goes which has to go behind so I can start seeing it here uh, then make it visible so you won't be able to see the text click on your uh, the copied cinematic and then get the pen tool up there and if you just zoom out a bit yeah if you just zoom out a bit and just make a mask like that along the wall you might not have a wall you might have something else like say an umbrella like if you saw in my Rex OG motion track um, you see the little cafe umbrella things, whatever they're called. I spent ages masking that out. This is just really simple because it's just a straight line, but that was like loads of like up and downs, and so it might be something different. This is just a wall, and then what you want to do, you just want to go around like that and just close it off. So it's just a closed thing. And if you click on your cinematic at the top, and change this to intersect like that and if you check the mask path as well so hit the stopwatch on it like that and then what you want to do is you literally just keyframe it so if you hit V on your keyboard so you get the normal move tool and then you go forward five frames so page down five times one two three four five and what you do is you just move the mask over like that and you go forward five frames again one two three four five and do that again you can maybe zoom in just good to get it nice and accurate go five four five frames again and just keep on doing that until it's all gone But as you can see now, uh, the mask is sort of going a bit wonky like that. It's not going straight down the line of the wall. And the way you can adjust it is if you get the pen tool again, make a point and then just click again to get rid of that point. And now if you hold down control, get the point and you can just move it and adjust it. So it's nice and straight like that that and then just hit V and go forward five frames again uh, so you can adjust it so yeah this is it really it's pretty simple I reckon what do you guys think like that and if you go forward now you should see it's like La 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 la, meow. Like disappears because the mask is like in front of it. So that's it, really. So, but if you look at the front, you can see that the mask is actually in front of the D here at the front, and it's like blocking it off. It's like cutting it off there. So, what you can so just go like forward where it happens, and just drag it out like that so what should happen is it shouldn't cover it up at the beginning so it's going along 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 like that and that's it guys 
it's pretty simple I reckon it's just like yeah boom like that so if I just quickly ram preview it should look perfectly fine really it's just simple keyframing so yeah <laughs> like that okay uh, what you can do just to make the thing like this mask move a bit smoother is if you select all the keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard or you can just like right click keyframe assistant and select easy ease basically just makes the keyframes a lot smoother kinda so yeah that's it so thanks for watching guys that was just a carry on tutorial from the other one so don't forget to leave a rating subscribe maybe a favorite as well helps me out a lot so be ready for the next tutorial which should be uploaded the uh, like tomorrow um i'm going to be doing a bouncing tutorial text bounce tutorial <laughs> can't think of many tutorials these days so yeah um i'll post a link to the 3d motion tracking after effects tutorial in the description <laughs> so you guys can watch that so yeah thanks for watching guys see ya